Hey guys, it's Ryan J. Whittington, The Nameless Wind. Welcome back to episode 4 of Let's Play Sky Man Anniversary Edition. And thank you for joining me. I hope this is nice and relaxing for you. And, um, we'll see what we're going to do because I don't have a. I'm just going to wing it this time. I'm not going to go speak to the Greybeards yet. I don't want to advance the main quest that far. Last time we did this quest in my time of need. Is it time for the College of Winterville? Yes, it is. And one good thing about these carriages is that we can still do it with survival mode, and it's like a form of fast travel. Take you to any of the hold cap. Where do you want to go? We're gonna go to Winterhold, but it's gonna be expensive. Yep, fifty gold. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Thanks, Bjorlam. What a funny name, Bjorlam. You ever met one of them cats? Haji. So I hope you guys are doing well today, and everything's going good. I'm having a good day so far, oh, and I am famished after that ride. Whew. Time for a treat. I'm still hungry. Are these cooked? I'll have to look this up. I've been playing this game for years, I just don't know if it looks cooked. It restores a lot of hunger, but you never know. I don't like stamina in real life, but my character does. Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. It's very cold, so we'll go to the Frozen Hearth. And rest up. Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Let's sate that appetite, huh? Sounds good. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Yeah, maybe we'll do a bounty. Sure thing. Double sleep sure first. For a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. I think it's usually the second one. Nope. Business with the college. You're welcome to stay. Huh? And we will sleep till 10 hours. Because it was uncomfortable in the back of that carriage. Let me know if there's anything else you need. So we're going to start off trying to apply for the college. I forget what other spells we need. There's no berries. And who among us could possibly hold that on? Such power. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? The dragon has attacked the white man. Oh, 
cross the bridge at your own peril. Welcome to the College of Winterhold. I am Feralda, one of the senior wizards here. I trust you found your journey to Winterhold not entirely unpleasant. Now I must advise you that if your only purpose in being here is to complain... Actually it was unpleasant. We had to sit in the back of an uncomfortable own. carriage. If, however, you seek something more, I will be happy to assist you. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Ah, the immortal plane. It is said to be the source of all magic. This is a noble goal, indeed. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. I guess I'm not persuasive. Excellent. The Mage Light spell is useful to any mage, not just those specializing in all. I look forward to it. Much knowledge lies within the college's walls. Winter holds glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives on. I gotta get some better armor. Cause it is cold outside. It's cold outside every day. Groundhog day. Didn't she register that I did that? College is an asset to Skyrim. Even if you can pass the test, then yes. Excellent. Yes, you were going to demonstrate your ability, were you not? I thought I did. I hope this isn't a good job. It's a fine job as master. Still, there's always room for improvement. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Gotta go on one of these annoying tours where you follow him. Just going glacially slow. What? Winter holds glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives on. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can skip the sewer. Mirabel Irvine. This is the Archmage Savos Air. Eh? You are here, are you not? We have not spoken. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not Sweet, he's open minded. research or experiments. Not unlike the narrow dogmatic view of the Jedi. Of Are we clear?
Now, if you'll excuse me. I believe I've made myself rather... Welcome to the... Co Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the college, just gonna get these snow berries because I don't care about what she's saying. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you, you please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. This thing always looks so cool. Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there okay, are still there some things that are off-limits. Sorry about the lack of dialogue, I'm a bit tired today. I stayed up till 4 in the morning Our last night and I had to get up early. In the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space. Oh, right, that's right. That's the best thing about this is I have storage space. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. And I have too much stuff. So I'm going to zoom in the box. Hmm, maybe we'll read this later. to sell it, but whatever. Oh. Oh, that's why you have to do the stamina. It's been so long since I played this game, I forgot, because it did upgrade your uh, carry weight. Let's see if I can drop something else. Winter. I'm reviving this game all over again. And you guys are going on a journey with me. Why did you have to walk all the way back this way? To go there? Why couldn't we just turn a diagonal? I'm going to see if we can cheat a little bit at this. And get this bitch to go faster. I guess not. 
Did she stay all the way over there? Oh my god. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. It did work a little bit. Just beginning. Please stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You this guy's awesome. Jargo. He has experiments. As much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. And what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. There's a chance to show you what we can do. Oh, sorry that, that so my far, character farted, guys. That's what that sounded like. Do? What the hell? Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. Yeah, come on, told you. Yeah. Try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety. We'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's all right. I can I don't know that ward. I don't know that ward. Enough for the purposes of this lesson. Great, we got now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in there. Okay. <laughs> Favor that, equip that. Now, cast the ward spell, and hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthal nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. So we we got that out of the way. I have many important things. Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there are still some things that are off limits. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. I think we're going to kill the band of leader first, and then we'll go from there, instead of doing Sarthal. Because Sarthal's a whole video in itself, almost. Like I said, I'm just winging it. Save early and often. And we don't have to go through that boring nightmare again. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I can do better. I'm a newer Let's Player. Who steals chicken's eggs? He's catching all them snowberries. All them snowberries.
I don't even know if we're going the right way. Serene. With the college in the background. The college destroyed a lot of Winterhold, so the people there don't like him that much. As you'll find out later. Just a wolf belt. And we will change back. Oh, we can do ice spike, but uh, let's do flames. Where are them wolves? He floated in the air before he died. He died like he was on a roller coaster. Do I bother going to loot him? Nah. Oh my god, we're fluttering in his animals. Maybe we'll make our character into a psychopath gradually as time goes on. We're gonna eat something to reduce our hunger. can we get rid of? That's good. That was barely sold for anything, so we'll get rid of that. And you know what? We'll read that book we said we were going to read earlier. Zura in the Box. The Zura in the Box, Ancient Tales of the Dwemer, Part 11, by Maribar Sul. How do you say this? Inshabar had enjoyed an adventurous young youth. A young youth? That doesn't make any sense, right? Inchabard enjoyed an adventurous youth. that had grown to be a very wise, very old Dwemer who spent his life searching for the truth and dispelling superstitions. He invented much and created many theorems and logic structures that bore his name. Much of the world still puzzled him, and nothing was a greater enigma to him than the nature of the Aedra and Daedra. Over the course of his research, he came to the conclusion that many of the gods were entirely fabricated by man and myrrh. Uh, Myrrh are the elves, elven kind, like the dark elves and high elves and wood elves and stuff like that. That's another name for them in this fictional universe of the Elder Scrolls. Nothing, however, was a greater question to Inshabar than the limits of divine power. Were the greater beings the masters of the entire world, or did the humbler creatures have the strength to forge their own destinies? As Inshabar found himself nearing the end of his life, he felt he must understand this last basic truth. Among the sages' acquaintances was a holy chimera priest named Athenic. When the priest was visiting Bethelag Suturmaz, Inchabar told him that what he intended to do to find the nature of the divine power. Athenic was terrified and pleaded with his friend and not to break this great mystery, but Inchabar was resolute. Finally, the priest agreed to assist out of love for his friend, though he feared the results of this blasphemy. Athenic summoned Azura. After the usual rituals by which the priest declared his faith in her powers, and Azura agreed to do no more harm to him, Inchabar and a dozen of his students entered the summoning chamber, carrying with them a large box. As we see you in our land, Azura, 
You are the goddess of dusk and dawn and the, all mysteries therein. So there is the dwemer of dusk and dawn and stuff like that. And I'll explain more of that as we continue the series. And insofar as a dwemer, a dwemer is this destroyed race that were dwarves, uh, the like deep mining elves. Uh, anyways, said Inchavar, trying to appear as kindly as and obsequious as it could be. It is said that your knowledge is absolute. So it is, smiled the Daedra. You would know, for example, what is in this wooden box, said Inchavar. As you returned to its ending, her brow furrowed. The priest was quick to explain, God, as this dwemer is a very wise and respected man. Believe me, please, the intention is not to mock your greatness, but to demonstrate it to the scientists and to the rest of your skeptical, of a skeptical race. I've tried to explain your power to him, but his philosophy is such that he must see it demonstrated. If I am to demonstrate my might in a way to bring the Dwemer race to understanding, it might have been a more impressive feat. You would have me do, growled Azura, and turned to look at Inchabar in the eyes. There is a red-petaled flower in the box. Inchabar did not smile or frown. He simply opened the box and revealed to all that it was empty. When the students turned to look to Azura, she was gone. Only the Athenic had seen the goddess's expression before she vanished, and he could not speak. He was trembling so. A curse had fallen. He knew that truly, but crueler was the knowledge of divine power that had been demonstrated. And Shabar also looked pale and certain on his feet, but his face shone with fear, with not fear, but bliss. The smile of a Dwemer finding evidence for a truth only suspected. Two of his students supported him, and two more supported the priests as they left the chamber. I have studied very much over the years, performed countless experiments, taught myself a thousand languages, and yet the skill that has taught me the finally truth is the one that I learned when I was but a poor young man, trying to learn to have enough gold to eat, whispered the sage. As he was escorted up the stairs to his bed, a red flower petal fell from the sleeve of the luminous robe. And Shabar died that night, a portrait of peace that comes from contented knowledge. Yeah, the Dwemer were skeptical of the Aedra and Daedra. That's just what this is saying. Pretty cool book. And now we read it, we can get rid of it. This is fire. Come in here, dear boy. Have a cigar. You're gonna go far. You're gonna fly high. You're never gonna die. You're cold. like our destination. Make sure we save in case we die from the cold. We 
he's not dark from the cold. Oh my god! No! That was so stupid of me. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> what the hell? for a little while. We have to put on some warmer gear. I guess that's all we have. So we save again. As we might die. I don't even know if we're in the right place to kill these bandits. Or which Snow Point Beacon we're supposed to be at. this game. Unexpected adventures. And this is a Dwarven Spider. It was an automaton created by the Dwarmer that we talked about a little bit ago. Uh, I'd really like to take this stuff, but we don't want to get over encumbered. So, oh well. Oh god. I'm gonna die. Maybe I'm not high enough level for this. Yeah, you know, I don't think I'm high enough level for this, so... I'm gonna go back. Maybe we'll take on the Duomo Ruins when we're like maybe level 10 or above, level 12, something like that. Sorry for the detour, folks. But it did get us out of the cold. Where are these bandits? Oh my god, this poor sap froze to death.
Man, this place must be like in the middle of absolute nowhere in the frozen cold. I've never done this uh, little bandit raid before in this particular location, so. Stamina potions, if we have any. So cheap, what the fuck? Just trying to get it out of the cold. die. God damn. Yes. See if healing does anything to the warmth. Something. 
I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. I don't wanna waste any more of your guys' time. Because I have got us in a real bind here. See, this is glitched out too, man. Are we fucked? See, he comes charging at us. Shit. Okay, guys. I am going to call it Chris for this episode and try and figure out what to do and how we're going to go forward. I will see you guys later.